welcome to Villa Kasabi. What a place. We're five minutes from the airport. We're five minutes from town. We're at the KM3 marker on the San Jose Road. I can't believe this. We've arrived, we've come through the gates. It's like you're in the middle of the countryside. You can see the sea over there only a few, few kilometers away. This property's got so many features, extensively landscaped grounds. Um, we've got this beautiful decking area around a modern pool with a whirlpool tub here with chill outs. If we look up here, Tim, you see the main house. The main house has got three bedrooms. We've got the whole of the top floor allocated to a master suite with two different chambers up there. One's used as a study, one is the bedroom area, big ensuite. Downstairs we've got two more bedrooms, two more bathrooms, big open plan reception, nicely fitted kitchen, we've got covered verandas, we've got multi-level landscape gardens, we've got two self-contained apartments in addition to the accommodation in the main house. Right below us here, there's a one bedroom, there's a kitchen area, there's an outdoor dining area and a barbecue. On the other side of the villa, we've got another smaller, but similarly uh, applicable to a, to a sharing couple, the bedroom area, the mini kitchen area, and the bathroom. Here's the full tour. We've just come through the electric gate. There's acres of parking over here. We've got a quadruple carport, keep the cars cool, ready for when you go out. There's another driveway section, lots of parking. If you follow me up here, Tim, you can see that these are extensively landscaped grounds. A lot of time and investment gone into this. We've come up the steps, we're at the middle section of the garden. You can see how much space, the kids can be playing football down here, the swings, lots of flat garden, it's quite unusual. Look down here, we've got some grass, home from home. This grass is really well maintained, we've got a lovely chill out area under the shade here, with some nice cushioned furniture, beautiful place to spend an hour in the afternoon. And then if you come back across here, again, this lovely level garden area, great place for playing. And then there's a um, completely self-contained and detached uh, private guest apartment here with a nice dining area and a barbecue. Let's have a quick look in the apartment while we're down on this level, Tim. Come on in. We've got a nicely fitted kitchen area. We've got a shower room through here and we've got a double bedroom there. This is good fun. A little viewing panel into the swimming pool. We're back up on the deck where we did the intro. I don't know whether you can see the view, but that's looking back across to the east coast. I love this deck. The pool's a really good size. We've got the hot tub. There's a little garden shed up there. There's hammocks hanging between these trees for chilling out. And then again, we've got garden area. We've got lawn. And we've got uh, double doors leading from the kitchen area and from the main reception room. We've got a covered veranda here as well and steps up to the back garden area. This is a real jewel as well as the outside area. What a lovely, big, cushioned, chill out area. Tim, follow me into the kitchen. We've got a sliding door, double glaze. We've got a nice bespoke modern kitchen with all the appliances you need. This is a really fashionable house, very tastefully done. We've got a, a nice timber uh, breakfast bar here area. We've got the breakfast table. We've got an alternative outdoor breakfast table beyond those sliding doors. And this big archway. As Tim follows me around here, you'll see the big archway gives the open plan feel um, to the reception area. There are double doors up here back out into the garden, a log burner. You're not going to use that in the summer, but it's there and it's a nice feature. We then come through to a kind of hallway recess here. They've got it used as a kind of drinks area, as a desk area. There's a bit of storage. Come this way, Tim, the inner hallway. Off the inner hallway, we've got doors to one bedroom here, another bedroom here, bathroom here. And then this may surprise some people, state-of-the-art lift up to the first floor. Okay, I've just come out of the lift, we're on the first floor. The first floor is the entire master suite. We've got this lovely study area here, sliding doors out onto the terrace, which is private to the master suite. Come on in the bedroom, Tim. This is a good sized double room. We've got a continuation of this wooden flooring. We've got wood beam ceilings. We've got windows to the side elevation. We've got glazed double doors to the rear elevation and access onto another second covered terrace. Part of this master suite. We've got some wardrobes and then we've got an ensuite. We wouldn't usually do the bathroom, it's such a big room. There's a five piece suite here. We've got a shower cubicle in the corner, we've got a whirlpool bath, twin wash basins, B day, WC, lots of room. It's a nice bathroom. We step down from the main bedroom into this second covered terrace. What a lovely feature of a bedroom. We've got this cushioned chill out area here. We've got the wooden balustrade overlooking the pool and the decking. And obviously with this cracking view down towards the south of the island. Okay, we're up on the first floor still. We've just come out of this covered terrace area. This is the other terrace. There's an external staircase here that leads back down to the garden area. I mean, really, how often are you going to use the lift? I think a lot of people would come up the outdoor staircase. But you have the options. 
We're at the rear of the house. This is where the second driveway ends. So if you have got staff or you've got visitors, they can park a car up here. We've got the um, technical room here and then the other gateway and door into the second self-contained apartment. Follow me in here, Tim. We'll give you a quick look. So definitely a double bedroom area here. Follow me down the corridor. We've got a, come on Tim, keep up. We've got things to do. We've got a little kitchen area here and we've got a shower room there. Let's sum up Villa Kasabi. This is a beautiful, landscaped, very stylish family property. Of course you can come here as sharing groups, but there's something about this. It feels so good for families. The kids have got big large garden areas to play on. It's nice and secure, electric gate, lots of parking, loads of features. It's got the warmth of the wooden decking, super stylish interior. We love this property. You're gonna have a great holiday here.